hello how are you all welcome to my channel law made simple with me vidya reddy today in the series of law of taxation let us learn about the residential status and types of residential status of an individual what income can become taxable or not let us get into it the taxability of an individual in india depends upon his residential status for that particular financial year the term residential status has been coined under income tax laws of india and should not be confused with the individual citizenship in india an individual may be a citizen of india but may end up being non resident for a particular year similarly a foreign citizen may end up being a resident of india for income tax purposes for that particular year so we should also note that the residential status of different types of persons like individual firm company everything will be a different one so let us get into the classification of this residential status according to the income law uh, income tax law it has classified the residential status into three categories what are they resident resident but not ordinarily resident and non resident ror rnor and nr so the residential status of an individual will cover the financial year of an individual as well as his his or her previous years of stay so let us get into resident and ordinarily resident ror under section 6 clause 1 of the income tax act 1961 an individual is said to be resident in india if he fulfills the condition what are the conditions if he or she stays in india for a period of 182 days or more in a financial year or he or she is in india per, for a period of 60 days or more in a financial year and if he or she stays in india for a period of 365 days or more during the four immediately preceding the previous year so what are the conditions if they stay for a period of 180 days 182 days or more in that financial year or if she stays if for a period of 60 days or more in that financial year or if he or she stays in a period of 365 days or more during four immediately preceding previous year so as per section 6 clause 6 of income tax so another condition another two conditions will be treated to become a resident or ordinarily resident in india what are those conditions if he or she stays in india for a period of 730 days or more during seven years of preceding previous year or uh, if he or she stays in india for a period in uh, for a period at least 2 out of 10 previous financial years which is preceding the previous years so if these two conditions are satisfied then he is not eligible to qualify as a resident and ordinarily resident not mandatory for the taxpayer should stay at the same place and it is not mandatory should that he should be in that particular place and it should be on the regular basis he can be in any of the territory of the india like in the territorial waters continental shelf air space which can extend up to 12 nautical miles so when any person visits india then their calculation of as a resident in india will be counted on their physical presence in india so calculating this presence is how the day on which he comes to india and the day on which he leaves shall be considered while calculating the residential status so let us take an example and understand it very well For example Mr Ravi who is a resident of India went to another country in October 2018 and he stayed in India during the financial year 2018 to 19 for a period of 250 days which is more than 182 days of the conditions and his stay in seven previous financial years is more than 730 days so he he fulfilled both the conditions so he is considered as ROR and he is eligible for paying tax in India coming to resident but not ordinarily resident r n o r so an individual will be treated as r n o r when he fulfills the following conditions like in the financial year if he stays for a period of 182 days or more or for a period of 60 days or more in the financial year and 365 days or more during four previous financial years so all these conditions are also satisfying the r o r condition but the tax payer will be a treated as resident but not ordinarily resident if they follow two conditions what 
he or she should stay in India for a period of seven thirty days or more during seven preceding financial years. He or she should be a resident of India for a period of at least two out of ten and previous financial years. So let us take an example and understand the difference between R O R and R N O R. If this Mr. Ravi, who is in the financial year of 2017 to 18, stays in India for a period of 192 days, and he is fulfilling the condition number one, but he did not stay in India for more than 730 day 730 days during the period of 1st April 2016 to 31st March 2000. 17 which is immediately preceding the financial year 17 18 so in this situation mr ravi will be qualified as a resident but not ordinarily resident and who is a non resident and any individual who is not satisfying any of the other conditions will be classified as non resident of for that year and how are the taxes calculated for the residents residents will be charged on tax in india on the global income that is the income earned in india as well as income earned outside india and for non residents and residents not ordinarily resident for them the tax liability in india is restricted to the income earned in india they need not pay any tax in india on their foreign income and also note that in the case of double taxation of income whether some income is getting taxed in india as well as in abroad one may resort to the double taxation avoidance agreement dtaa that uh, india would have entered into with other country based on the treaty in order to eliminate the possibility of paying taxes twice as such we have come to the end of the session it's riddle time please answer the riddle in the comment section please like share and subscribe thank you